see here. Here's a fan running out onto the field. Oh, man. Wow. Yeah, that's what he deserves. Yeah. You come out on the field, you're lucky that this is as bad as it gets. Well, Ron Green didn't even see him. What a total idiot. Not to bring up Mike Curtis for the second time in a night, but that's one of the all-time great moves in I the NFL. I missed it, too. The guy looked like he was wearing a Packer uniform. Huh? Been... I thought Gil Brown was back on the team. Big boy. Whoever the fan was. Comes the guy in yellow. Hey, honey, I went to the game last night and had my chest caved in. It's, a, it's another ride at the NFL experience. <laughs> All right, kids, let's go over to the clothesline game. I think the guy that ran out on the field is asking for a replay review. He's challenging that play. What else could be the reason for the stoppage? Yeah. The fans' sternum is now filo dough. There you go. Huh? Questionable choice. I haven't seen instincts like that since Crispin Glover was on the Letterman You know, I'm, I'm wondering right now with the officials co conferring, are they trying to determine whether that influenced the play, and if so, what the disposition of it would be? Meanwhile, heading for the Huskow. Wow. There he is. That's the look of somebody heading for a Huskow. Wait a second, that's my agent, Jimmy! Well, the ruling is there was no fan interference, interception, first down. Yeah, that's exactly what they were talking about. And I would agree with Luckett's call right there. I don't, I don't think he had any impact oh, on the result of the play. Carolina's 10th guy on the IR this year. <laughs> Might have been a Packer fan. Ball at the 12.